Lenovo might have just fixed the Legion Go. So Lenovo just dropped version 1.0.2.3 for their Legion Space software, and while not a massive, insane bug fix, it did fix a lot of things for me and hopefully will for you too. First off, this update just shows up whenever you try to boot up Legion Space, so I restarted my device, and when it normally would have booted up Legion Space, it instead ran the update. So hopefully future updates are this move moving forward. Now the update didn't take long for me at all, just a few minutes. And as soon as it booted up, you can see they changed the entire look from that super galaxy inspired blue to a more subtle, darker tone, which I do like. They also now added an option in the settings to where you can have Legion Space open up at start or not. This is huge. I know there were tons of workarounds being posted on Reddit to how to uh, bypass Legion Space, but here now it's finally built in so you can toggle it on or off if you want it to open up at startup or not. And I think that's just a great option to finally have. I'm not sure why it wasn't there in the first place, but it is a welcome change. Also, they finally fixed the right Legion button. So before you'd have to press it once to open quick settings and then again to close quick settings and then again to open recent apps and then again to close recent apps and then again to open quick settings. So it was like four or five button presses to realistically get to the quick settings multiple times. Thankfully, they seem to have completely removed the recent apps menu that would come up. There wasn't anything super useful in that menu anyway, so I am glad it's gone. And it's only been a few hours, so I'm not super deep into the update, but I do find the quick menu to be much, much more responsive than before. These are great fixes that I've been able to notice. I haven't tested the console out too much to see if this has affected gameplay or anything like that yet, so I will maybe make a future update if gameplay has drastically gone better, but I don't think so. I think this is more just a Legion Space software issue. I don't think this has anything to do with the actual performance of the device because it wasn't a system update, rather just a Legion Space software update. Now, the one thing here that I am just hopeful for the next update or for in, you know, in the future would be if they can fix the FPS counter not working sometimes, and then also if they can just, again, get back to that button remapping let me remap the start and select buttons. I think that would be a game changer for me. Um, so I would love for them to offer that in the future. They already have decent button mapping software. So if they can just add more options to that software, that'd be great. Overall, I'm happy with this update and glad to see Lenovo making moves to improve their software, even not that far after release, which is great seeing these software updates come so soon. And I really appreciate it. So if you guys know the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys all watching to the end. It really does mean a lot to me and have a good one.